For this month, we are talking about prevention, especially in men. And what more important to talk about prevention is talk about prevention of cancer and specifically cancer that is related to HPV. HPV itself is a virus that actually can cause many, many problems such as genital warts and also cervical cancer. Apart from the cervical cancer, in men, HPV can cause oral cancer, anal cancer and also related to penile cancer. Therefore, HPV itself is not a disease that only affects women. Let's talk about prevention. In general, there are only two vaccines that are known to prevent cancer. One of them is hepatitis B that can prevent hepatoma. On the other hand, is HPV vaccine that can actually stop the transmissions of HPV in both men and women. Of course, we know that women universally get protection from HPV by the vaccinations and that hopefully indirectly will reduce the actual transmissions of HPV and cervical cancer. But what is less well known is that men who take HPV vaccine also protect themselves from getting infection. And in fact, the scientific study shows that men need it a lot more than women. Why? Number one, actually for some strange reasons that men don't develop the immunity even though they actually are exposed to the infection and that immunity is supposed to be there compared to women. Two, is that the transmissions or the viral load of this uh, disease will decrease with women but will increase with men as we age and we don't really know why probably because of the behavior which is constantly exposed them to this as a result we know in certain countries when they protect the men they also reduce the risk of cervical cancer in women therefore I think it's a win-win situation if men get protected as well. On one hand, men can reduce their risk of getting certain cancers and they can get their risk reduced for getting genital warts. But more importantly, protecting the men also protect the women from getting the same disease and cancer. For the second episode of the protection series, we're talking about a scary disease another virus called HIV. If you would like to find out more, stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the Spot.